Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. On today's vlog, we're actually using the Sony ZV-1. So we're pretty much just using the camera. It's not really like a, a, a review review. It's almost like, it's just, just come along with me. We'll test it out. We'll test out all the features. Like this thing right here, you see that? How you can blur out the background. So if you're not really sure about aperture or anything, all you gotta do is push this button. <laughs> well, the button's called the background defocus button. And it's right here, right by the, I can't even see, wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm using the Bluetooth handle on it, which is, freaking great too because you get you can record using it you can take a photo using it and then right here you could have the background defocus so right now the background is clear as you can see then I push background defocus and it takes a little bit and then bam look at that book it's still a one inch sensor yeah so it's bigger than the sensor is bigger than the one that you get from your HX80 is that what you had before yeah yeah, so it's bigger than that. Oh, but so it's, it's actually still not like uh, it's not APS-C or anything like that. Oh, okay. Well, if you guys are hearing Vince, Vince is over there, but Vince doesn't want to be part of this vlog because he's like, he's he feels unkept. But he's he's actually doing a workout, so I'm just kind of hanging out while he's gonna do his workout. And no, you'll not see Vince's workout on the video. I just realized there's a giant Pikachu on this on the ceiling hanging. Poor Pikachu. And like I, as I was in there, as I was going in and out of the, of the garage, one of the first things I forgot is that this camera actually has an ND filter. And this ND filter is freaking amazing too. Like I'm gonna turn it off right now and, I'm, and you're gonna see, I'm gonna tell you the difference between the ND filter and the non-ND filter. So right now, as you can see, there's no ND filter. You can see like how everything's kind of blown out in the back. And for all of you, for the, all of you guys that don't know, if you guys are wondering about ND filters, pretty much ND filters are like sunglasses for your camera lens. So yes, you can see with the ND filter, it's it's a little bit less white, blown out white. You know, technically, if you if you want to go vlog, this might be the best camera for you. If you want to take photos, yeah, you might want to need the A7S or you need A7S3, A7C, or whatever. And for you beauty vloggers and you, for you for you ladies, I don't know, and some of you men, it actually has a like a soft skin, like a, a beauty mode. And right now, beauty mode. So you, 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 as you can see, look, look, my face. My face is pretty good right now, huh? Beauty mode. <laughs> What's up, beauty mode? And one of the questions I have with beauty mode is actually just to test whether or not it actually works like super quick. So let's see. <laughs> We're just tracking to see. Is it? Is it? Is it stay? It seems to be working. And the one thing that I, maybe I do like and maybe I don't like with this camera is that there is actually a, a flip up screen. So I do tend to look at it because I'm not used to not having a, fl a flip, flip up screen because my A7S doesn't have it. So just stare, at the, stare directly at the lens. If you stare directly at the lens, you're perfectly fine. Hey, we're gonna take, look at that. We should take the one wheel out. We should, we should take the one wheel out. I have like I have like my work boots, <laughs> so we're gonna try to ride this with with the work boots. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on. How do you turn it on? If somebody knows how to turn on the one wheel, comment down below. I had to, I had to get I had to get tech support. <sighs> so so fast. <laughs> so the, one of the good things about this too is that. The, the, cam the, the camera itself actually has a wind muff. It has like this wind muff attachment, which makes it super excellent. And also the, the stability on this is, 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 is pretty good too. <laughs> We're just gonna ride this. Hopefully, hopefully I don't crash.
And of course, one of the best parts about it is that it's not heavy. So it's not like the A7S where I have to have the big Joby and it's kind of hard to balance on a one wheel. This is actually, if you, if you have a one wheel or if you're just doing more like activity type of vlogs, this will be perfect for, this will be a perfect camera for you. And you know, there's also the thing with the, the stabilizer, this is a gyro thing. I know Vince was trying to explain it to me earlier, but I have to do more research on that because I can't really explain it to you right this minute. But as soon as I do, or even if I, if I use it, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. I'm trying to go in circles. We gotta turn that ND filter on because it's kind of dark in here. So we're trying to test the darkness, low light. I know there's still a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of light here. So um, looking at the viewfinder, it seems to be working pretty well. Um, Vince's gimbal, the, the old iMac. This is like Vince's repair section. We got the, the Con Konica. Look at this thing. Oh, film camera. Just, yeah. PlayStation 2. Anybody? Anybody still? Uh, anybody still want to get up? PlayStation 2. Hit me up. Um, which camera is this one? This is the Sony. Which Sony is this one? NEX3, I think. NEX3. We think. We just. This is like basically is the white like. One? Huh? Is it the white one? Yeah, the white one. Yeah, NEX3. NEX3. So like this this area like like a lot of this stuff right here is pretty much like um the swap meet so if you ever need anything like come on down like yeah the the the, the promesser ball head like they're just laying around this is vince's old calc this is vince's um calculator right here um he pretty much used this is what he uses when he um when he gives you guys quotes on on all your uh, photography and your on your video needs like the bell yeah okay oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm i'm dropping things i'm killing things look at that the old Nike SB bag? Oh my goodness. Hey, yo, yo, everybody, this is classic. It's probably worth like $6,000 on eBay. Well, look at that. Adjust, 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 adjust. There we go. And of course, he has this little light thing, like dome thing. Like, I'm not like that technical when it comes to stuff. I just go, Vince, and go, I need a light. And Vince comes up and he tells me, oh yeah, maybe you need the aperture, blah, 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 blah. and then I go, yeah, sure, and then and, and he just drops it off, or I pick it up, and this wasn't the one at my house at one point, no, that's, I had the other one, I can't remember which one that was, but yeah, if you guys want to see Vince's workout, um, subscribe to his OnlyFans, <laughs> it's it's going to be available on his OnlyFans, what is it, what's your only? Uh, the Hash Brown Thunder, the Hash Brown Thunder, yeah. mine is Edie Weedy, so if you know, if you guys want to subscribe, $10 a month. The one thing though that I don't like about this is that it's size. Well, I know, I love the size because you could vlog with it all day and not get tired. But are you an official vlogger if you don't have a mirrorless or a DSLR? <laughs> are you really? Are you really a vlogger if you don't have a bendy tripod? Are you really a vlogger if you don't have a road video mic? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> That's actually your decision. All right, mom. Bye, bro. For the for the Later. vlog. Right, I'll I'll bring it back tomorrow. All right, cool. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Probably around this time. All right, cool. After I edit this and release it tonight, I don't know. So we're we're gonna head back home. We so we get to keep the ZV1 until tomorrow night. Um. So we're gonna be shooting a lot more things that actually that would help out with with this vlog. As I said, I don't really want this. I don't really want this vlog to be more. Uh, I don't really want this to be like a review. I don't really want to give technical documentation because I'm not really an expert. But it's it's more like it's it's more of a way for you guys to see how it works or how um, it would be if you guys purchased it in the vlog. I will give my opinions on, on what I like, what I don't like. Um, but generally, it's not going to be like a full on like full on in-depth review so we're in the car right now it's still pretty good right because one of the main things as a vlogger is you don't want your camera to actually limit you you i know that when i was using the um the canon the 
the T the the T3i um, with with its with its small with its crop sensor, and it was just it was very limiting. And same with the HX80, where it was very 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 limiting when it got time to um, you know in the dark. So right now we're at like 6400 ISO, and yeah, we're um, we're, we're gonna have to see how good it is. But as I stated. You don't want the camera to limit you. You don't want the camera to be a camera where, like, after after seven o'clock or actually like after four o'clock, five o'clock, especially in the winter time, you can't you can't actually create any more content because you're there's you know the images are just way too dark and of course if you try to fix it po in post it just it just becomes a mess. It just becomes totally unusable. So those were those are one of the things that I look for when I when I get a new camera. It's how does it perform in low light? And lucky for me, um, Sony has always been pretty good when it comes to um, low light performance. I must. I'm gonna stop by over here at Seafood City because I need something to eat. So I guess it's time to go home now and eat. Uh, probably watch a K-drama while editing this video. I mean, from a from a blog, from a vlogging point of view, I think this is an excellent, excellent camera for you. I haven't even used it to its full potential because I'm pretty sure there's all these other modes on here that I, that I'm probably missing, which I'll probably record sometime tomorrow. Um, and um, I, I don't know if it actually has um, time lapse. If it does, uh, you know, you obviously probably see it. Uh, I don't know if it has time lapse. I don't know. As I said, I've only used like 25% of this camera and I love it. Now, here's the thing. If I was going to vlog, again, if I was going to vlog, just simply vlogging, this would probably be an ideal camera for me. But, you know, if I'm actually shooting a movie or doing a film or more like, a, you know, like I, how I... Actually, I don't even do that. Why do I even have the A7S? <laughs> but in any case, so as far as this vlog, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Please let me know what you think about the quality of the Sony ZV-1. And the one thing is like, I do have the Bluetooth handle too, which is actually sold separately. So um, it's, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. You could zoom in and you can zoom in. Well, yeah, you know, actually, you can zoom in and out using it. And obviously, you can take photos. You could actually um, change, you know, background defocus. I didn't have background defocus on the whole time. I didn't have I didn't have background defocus on the whole time. I lose my bunker. But yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Please let you guys. Please let me know if you got this far. Please let me know what you think about the camera. If you've had experience with it, what are what are the things I am currently missing? And the thing is like this on 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 loan on on loan I just got it so I have like um two days to use it um, I'll try my best to shoot as much content as I possibly as I possibly can using the camera but so if I'm missing anything comment down below and let me know and 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 maybe maybe I'll I'll, I'll use it I mean well hmm. I'll probably not have the camera by the time I read those comments.